is up? It's Ruthie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a glam, festive holiday makeup look to get you ready for the holiday season. Whether it be Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever holiday season you guys celebrate. So before we get started with the video, make sure to go and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to leave a thumbs up. And yeah, let's just get started. So before we start with the makeup, I'm just going to clip back my hair as always. These clips are literally so adorable and they're from INH Hair. So now that our hair is all back, let's just hop right into our base. First, I'm going to be using the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum just to make sure my face is extra plump and hydrated before I put on my base. And now I'm going to prime my face with the Benefit Professional Primer. Priming is a very, very important part of the makeup routine. It really helps to fill in your pores and get you that flawless face that everyone wants. It also really helps making sure your makeup stays on all day and doesn't budge. For my base, I'm going to be using the Kevin Aucoin Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm just going to take my Wet Real Techniques Beauty Blender and dab into it. Now, I'm not really sure like how, how little or how much product I'll need. Whenever you're doing your base, I always recommend using a beauty blender, especially if you're starting out because, because it's definitely the easiest way to make sure you get that seamless base without any brush strokes. So far, I'm really liking this. With all foundation, I definitely recommend following the whole less is more thing because you definitely don't want to be walking around with a cakey face. Personally, I like starting from the outside and working on the inside, meaning I blend in my nose last so there isn't as much product on it and it doesn't move around throughout the day. I am mixing in a little bit of the SX04 because I feel like the shade is just a little bit too light for me. But they do have a really good shade range and honestly, I definitely just picked the round one. Not even gonna lie, my base looks really good right now. It's very even and it almost has like this natural skin finish. I really like covered up any like fine lines and discoloration. All right, so enough with foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape. I love this concealer. Concealer. I use the shade Fair Neutral, which can be a little bit light for me, but I really like a bright under eye. I like putting on my concealer kind of going outwards so that it really has a lifting effect. I don't really like to bring it down here too much because I don't want it to drag down my face. And I also like putting a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and my chin just to really highlight my face. My base is looking amazing. Most people do this before concealing, but I usually end up doing it after I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely because I forget. But I'm just gonna go in and cream contour. I'm using the Anastasia Stick Foundation in the shade Mink. I always like to add a little bit of my Laura Mercier Hydrating Drops just to make sure it blends in with the foundation extra good. Honestly, usually I just drip a drop or two on my hand and I kind of go like that. And then I like to go in on my cheekbones and then blend those out just so it doesn't dry because that is the worst when it ends up drying before you get to blend it. Now make sure to not blend it out too much to the point where it's like everywhere you kind of want to keep it in that location what i like most about this shade of contour is that it's not too warm so it is still giving off the shadow appearance when you contour you want it to be more of a neutral cooler shade of brown so that you're really giving off those shadows you can go and warm it up later with a bronzer but definitely when you're cream contouring you kind of want a more neutral tone shade also gonna go in onto my jawline we don't like double chins around here i always personally struggle with getting this all the way blended i'll like leave a spot right here so i I like using a brush to do this just so I can like really make sure I get the area and now finally the nose one of the most important steps personally I am not very good at nose contouring I won't lie so after I'm done with like blending out the bridge of my nose I like to put a little bit under kind of like on top so that you really get that like cute little nose appearance and lastly I do take a little bit more concealer and go in on that bridge and the end just to make sure the highlighted parts are clear and boom there you have a cute little nose contour now to set my makeup I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier glow translucent powder I love Laura Mercier's powders alone and then I tried this one and oh my gosh it gives your face like this nice even illuminating complexion and it looks so pretty in the sun I am obsessed with this powder okay so now moving right along to my eyebrows I'm going to be using the Anastasia dip brow the shade medium brown this is my ride or die eyebrow product I love the Anastasia dip brow so much for my eyebrows i start by lining underneath my natural brow hair 
Symmetry is very important in brows, so I also do the other one at the same time. And then I go in and I draw my arch, and then my tail end. From many years of doing my brows, I found that for my face shape, having a brow end that's kind of up more. And before everyone asks, yes I do shave off the tail end of my eyebrows. This is so I can really make sure my eyebrows look lifted. And it's a lot easier to do with my other creative makeup looks. So now, once I've done that, I just like to go above and draw out my shape there. So now that I have two shapes that I like, I'm going to fill them in, starting by the ends. When doing this, I don't really touch the front parts yet at all. I kind of just make sure it's blended through. Alright, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. This pen is so great for fine lines and really just doing those little hairs and making them look extra realistic. I just like to add in a few hairs throughout. I'm using the shade Medium Brown as well. Okay, so this is what they look like. To carve them out, I'm going to be using a flat concealer brush from Morphe and my P. Louise Primer in the shade Rumor 01. You can also obviously use concealer for this. I just use my eyeshadow primer, because why not? All right, so I finished carving them out, and I also put the P. Louise base all over my lids to prep them to get ready for the eyeshadow. Now, before I start with eyeshadow, I am going to bake under my eyes with a normal Laura Mercier setting powder. You don't want to use the illuminating one for this, because it might look a little funky. I personally don't do this to lock in my makeup rather to keep the fallout away because let's be real no one likes fallout it's not cute and it kind of ruins the whole look I am just gonna put that under both of my eyes you don't need to have an insane amount but just enough where you can brush off any powder that falls onto it definitely make sure to get on your nose with this too because when fallout gets like right here on your nose It'll like mess up your nose contour and that's not a good thing. I'm going to start by going in with my, with my ABH Norvina Volume 4 palette. I'm going to be mixing these two shades to create a nice transition shade. And for my brush, I'm going to be using the R&L Moda Pro Detail Brush. So here I'm just blending out those shades. I'm making sure to blend them out really well. I wouldn't necessarily call it a transition shade, however it will be the base for our look. From the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be jumping in to the shade next just to deepen everything up. So as you can see here, I'm just adding this color into my crease and I'm blending out. However, when I'm blending out, I'm making sure to still concentrate the color in my crease and not blend it out too far to the edge so there is that definition. Alright, so I know I'm jumping around from palette to palette, but now I'm just going to go into the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Mine has definitely had some wear. And I'm going to be taking the shade Mulberry. I also am going to be using a smaller brush. This one is from Dose of Colors. So now I'm going to take the shade and I'm going to pack it on my inner and outer corners of my eye. As you can see, I am experiencing fallout, so it's a good thing we have the powder down there. And once I've done this, I'm going to blend it out with a smaller blending brush just to make sure it is all blended out nicely. Now I'm going to be using the Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette and I'm going to be tapping into the shade Golden Hour. I'm going to use this on the center of my lid to highlight it. I'm also using my finger to help pack it on and I'm just making sure to get that on pretty heavy and bright. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, my camera definitely died. Um, to make this look more bold and smoky, I added kind of a faded out liner. I ended up smoking it out. So this is what it looks like. If it's a little dark for you, you don't have to do that at all. I also lined the bottom of my water lines. Lately, I have been digging that look. I think it's super in style right now. So to briefly go over what I already did with the cream contour, I'm going to be using the Kevin Aucoin, the Contour Book Volume, 3 and I'm just gonna go dip into their lightest shade and maybe a little bit of the medium shade right here and I'm gonna be using my Olimar complexion brush with this I went in on the hollows of my cheeks along with my jawline and my forehead not being too harsh and just defining it and leaving it more natural my face up a little bit after all that contouring I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Bronze 03. I'm using this Morphe brush. Um, it came in a kit, so I don't know the name of it. Bronzing is probably one of my favorite parts of makeup. I just love the look of a nice warm face. That kind of sounded creepy. Next, I'm going to take the ColourPop Mulan blush in the shade Matchmaker. And I'm just going to go right above that bronze area on my cheekbones. This is a pretty muted color of blush, but I honestly love it and I think it adds like a small hint of like rosiness. 
Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some setting spray. I'm going to be using the iconic London Prep Set and Glow Original. As you can see, I'm almost out of it, but that's okay. And wait till that dries. Setting spray is super important to make sure your makeup gets locked in and also doesn't look cakey. So now on the highlighter, we're going to be using the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. I love Ofra Highlighters, if you don't already know. So I'm just going to focus this onto my cheekbones. It's definitely more flattering if you keep it more in like a small section, really highlighting that cheekbone. Alright, so now for lashes, I'm going to be using the Kevin Alcoin mascara in black. And for false lashes, I'm going to be using this pair of eyelashes from Elena Lashes. This is in the style Dream. I know it's super dramatic, but I personally love dramatic lashes. You don't have to use false lashes, or you can use a less dramatic pair, but... I just love dramatic lashes, what can I say? And usually I would use tweezers, but I'm feeling bold today, so I'm just gonna use my hands. Alright, so whenever I think of like holiday makeup and like festive makeup, I think of a nice bold lip. So that's what we're gonna do. For my lips, I'm using the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Spin Me. Definitely a dark red and bold. I think I'm gonna add kind of like a red in the middle to give it some dimension. Okay, so this is what the lip looks like. It's very bold. If you're not quite comfortable in a lip this dark, you can always do kind of like more of a nude shade. You can even go for a bright red, honestly. I think that would look bomb. So yeah, I'm gonna um, fix my hair a little bit and I will be back to show you the end result. Okay, so I'm back and I just have my hair in a little low ponytail. But this is the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this look and try it out on yourself. You could totally rock it at Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever holidays you celebrate. Hopefully you're celebrating them in your house, in small groups, at home because we are still in a pandemic. So make sure to stay safe during these holidays and wear a mask and protect yourself and protect others. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like and comment for videos you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!